sure you know by now that the gym is an amazing habit to get into both for your mind and your body with a new year being right around the corner this is the perfect time to make a commitment to yourself that this will actually be the year that you actually go to the gym and actually put in the work to see the results that you know you want and that you know that you can get i know that for some people it's really hard to get started but i promise you if you start right now and you actually stay consistent and stay disciplined for only one month you will start to feel and see the results i have now been following this exact workout split for the last two months and i've gotten to the point where not only i feel and see the results but also others have come up to me and told me that they see actual physical differences in my body which is always amazing the cost of procrastination is the life you could have lived so let's be your sign to start right now and i do eight to ten reps and i do four sets for every single thing every single time make sure to stay to the end because i'll be sharing some of my favorite tips that helped me out when i was first starting out and also some things that i've just learned throughout the duration of my fitness journey that i think will help you too subscribe if you haven't already okay love you let's get into it good morning i'm just getting ready to go to the gym this is the outfit of the day this cute little matching set from amazon i will try to find it and link it but i'm so excited because today's the life day which is obviously my fave so having a little breakfast a little snack just because i cannot work out if i don't eat like even if it's something small i feel like i'm gonna pass out so i'm just gonna eat this and then you know, pack your gym bag and get ready to go. If you guys want to see a full on detailed morning routine I have on my channel, I'm gonna take a little pre. This is the one that we've been using. The bag that I normally bring to the gym, it's pretty much empty. I'm just bringing my AirPods, some glasses for the road because it's sunny, my phone, and then I'm gonna bring this camera because I'm vlogging today. Final fit check. I threw on the shirt just so that I'm not walking in there with just like a sports bra. Sometimes I take this off if it gets too hot. But yeah, this is the fit check. We also need a shirt because we're going to Target after this. And I feel like it's okay to wear like a matching set at the gym. But like in the grocery store, I don't know. I took a pre-workout and creatine. So I feel like it's going to be a really good workout today. We're here. Okay, hey, made it to the gym. The gym has like an outside freaking section and it's like beautiful day today. So we're gonna do a little workout out here. I'm listening to some freaking early 2000s music and it's like the only thing keeping me going right now. Okay, we get it. You're strong. We're done. I'm done. I'm over it. We've been here for like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how was my workout? Yes. How was so workout? It would have been like a 6 or a 7, I think. But uh, got to work out with you, so it was an 11. Wow. Good 
morning guys it is day two we're about to get ready to go to the gym i just finished eating i had some waffles with blueberries and they were so good but now we're just gonna take our pre and creatine and chug that down real quick and then we're gonna go have a little workout cheers this is the outfit of the day I'm wearing this cute orange set. I am not sure where this is from. I would imagine probably Amazon, but I'll try to find it and link it. And I have this shirt that I'm going to throw over it because it matches really well. It has cute kitties on it. So this is what we wear on top for the ride there and the ride back. You know who made that shirt? Yes. My boyfriend's work husband made this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's the fit. And then he's also wearing orange. Come here. Coincidence? Oh yeah, I thought we were up. We are not. <laughs> you can show your abs. Uh, what abs? Coincidence? Wow. This lighting is really good. Oh my god. Mm. Alright. Anyways, we're gonna get ready and go. Today's gonna be a little bit of a quicker workout because we got work to do. Yeah, I got a meeting at 4 30. Yeah, so we gotta go. Get my little gym bag, chopstick, my AirPods, and my water which I think is in my boyfriend's gym bag. And my phone, of course, and then this camera, and that's pretty much it. I grabbed the aux first, which means we're gonna be listening to my music today because when I let him take the aux, it's all emo, depressing music. But now, since I have it, we're gonna listen to my girly vibes playlist. Woo! Woo! Get amped up for the gym. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know. Angel boy. Never gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back. Hello, workout is done. We did. Sorry. We're making the camera shake. I'm trying to stay still. It's okay. We did chest and triceps today, which is my least favorite one slash my worst one because I feel like my whole upper body is so weak and it's really humbling. That was today though. We got it out of the way. Feeling accomplished, feeling happy that we went. Obviously, it was good. My triceps are literally burning. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yoked. <laughs> you cannot see, but anyways, I am burning. Here's the lunch. It's a lot of protein since we just went to the gym. I always try to eat eggs like as a right after the gym type of meal. But yeah, this is delicious. It's like my favorite post-gym meal just because it has a lot of protein. But it is literally so good. So delicious, it's good for you. It gives me a lot of energy. Good morning guys, it is another day and today's a very nice day out. It is very sunny where it's like kind of crispy and like a little bit windy, but it's not too, too bad. So today, instead of going to the gym, we're gonna go for a little walk. I'm wearing a very simple fit today, black leggings. This top is from Jet North. And then I have this jacket that is just like looped around because it might be a little bit chilly, but we'll see when we get there. But, yeah. Whoa, this 
so cool. So we found the cutest little park area. It's all plants and like pretty bridges. There's like a little waterfall here. It's very cute. It's very cute and it's a nice break from the gym. This is definitely a lot more fun, right? Yes. Do you even know what I was saying? I do, this is fun. It's fun. Yes, it is fun. Little squirrel friend. This is like when you don't want to go to the gym, but you want to do something good for your body like this is it. It's not very intense. We haven't been here too long. It's not like a crazy hike, but it's just like, it's really pretty. I'm just happy with that. We came here. These are some tips that helped me throughout my fitness journey and I hope they will help you too. Number one is try to go with a friend as often as possible. Obviously it makes it more fun to have somebody there to hang out with, but also it holds both of you accountable to be there, to be there on time and to actually push yourself every single workout. Tip number two is to set up a habit tracker and actually track your progress. Not only is it freaking satisfying AF to cross it off your list at the end of every single day, but also once you start a streak, it is so much easier to find that extra motivation to keep it going because once you break the streak, it's over. You cannot go back. Tip number three is to remember to reward yourself for the progress that you made. So what I do is I have a reward system set up in my Notion where if I work out like let's say 12 times in the duration of the month, that is the equivalent of working out like three times a week for the four weeks of the month, then I reward myself at the end of the month for staying disciplined and staying motivated. So the rewards can vary. I usually allow myself to either buy a new workout set or gym accessories or just like anything really that I've been wanting to get. Tip number four is to start slowly and then build your way up. Obviously, you don't wanna do too much weight right off the bat and end up hurting yourself because if you do that, then you will be out of commission for like weeks or months or however long. But that also means to start slow with your workouts. So if you don't go to the gym, don't make a goal that you're gonna go every single day for the next six months or else you lose because that way you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure so you can start slow say you will start doing some sort of physical movement or exercise two to three times a week and then go from there the next tip is to remember to go up in a way i'm not sure what your personal goals are it's sometimes very easy to go to the gym and stay at the exact same weight that you've been at and it's like challenging enough to where it feels like you're working towards something but if you don't go up in weight then you're just not gonna see the gains that you're trying to see. So always remember to challenge yourself. I attempt to go up in weight every single week, but obviously if that's not doable, then I go back down. And also side note, if you're a woman watching this, obviously the amount of weight that you can lift and your endurance and everything like that gets affected by your low woman cycle. So keep that in mind, don't be too hard on yourself. But generally speaking, try to attempt to go up in weight every once in a while, just so you can see how much you can push yourself because you will be impressed with how much your body can actually do. The next tip is to remember to rest please do not go crazy do not go overboard it's okay to take some time to relax and if your body's telling you that you need to rest then you should listen to it every once in a while so make sure you have some rest days in there the next step is actually super fun and it is to try different types of workouts obviously weightlifting is not going to be for everybody and if it didn't fit is for you right now it doesn't mean that it's going to be the exact same thing that you want to be doing for the next freaking 40 years of your life non-stop so it's okay to try different types of workouts maybe today you can do weightlifting the next day you can go on a run the next day you can do a long walk the next day you can try a pilates class or a yoga class or something like that or do like an at home like yoga flow and i find that to be super helpful if you're feeling kind of like burnt out from going to the gym too often sometimes you just need to do something a little bit different which keeps you more motivated so i definitely recommend trying that and also that way you'll see what kind of workouts you like best what works best for your body what gives you better results for the goals that you have because obviously no two people are gonna have the exact same goals my next tip is a little reminder that just because you work out does not mean that you can completely neglect your diet i'm sure you know by now that the foods that you consume obviously affect how your body looks and how your body feels and how your body reacts to all your exercise that you do so please make sure you're eating relatively healthy you don't have to go cold turkey and never freaking eat anything unhealthy ever again but slowly start to supplement 
healthier alternatives into your diet at least that's what i do i don't like to restrict myself so i don't have any super specific rules of not allowed to eat this or not allowed to do that but i just generally try at least 80 percent of the time to make healthier choices and i have found that works really well for me and has gotten me really close to the results that i want to see in terms of my fitness journey so while we're on the topic of food if you guys want to see what i need in a day video please let me know because i don't necessarily meal prep for the whole week i feel like i get sick of having the same food more than like twice and i'm not really the biggest fan of leftovers so i try a bunch of different meals and i eat different things throughout the week so if you guys want to see like what i eat in a day or what i eat in a week just so you can have some inspiration and some ideas for some healthier meal options that i can definitely film though for you so comment down below and let me know so i don't forget the next tip is to plan your workouts so i have a note section that has like all my workouts outlined and all the exercises that i'm gonna do for each day of the week and i found that that really helps me because if you don't have a set plan if you go to the gym you might be more likely to be like okay i've done enough let me leave but now that i have a solid plan i don't let myself leave until the workout is finished i'm not gonna up and leave i know exactly how many sets i'm supposed to be doing i know how many reps i'm supposed to be doing i know how many exercises i'm supposed to be doing and i stick to that along the same lines it is very important to plan what days you're gonna work out so once a week i go on my notion and i plan on my week and i'm like okay i'm gonna work out on monday wednesday friday sunday and that way i know already psychologically i'm prepared for it so that when the day rolls around i'm not like oh should i work out today oh should i work out tomorrow hmm. like you leave too much to chance that way and like too much to how you're feeling in the moment how you're feeling in the moment cannot have that much control over your life because then it's so easy to procrastinate and just make decisions that you might regret later such as skipping a workout because you're feeling lazy in the moment but as soon as it goes down on the planner it's basically non-negotiable i'm already prepared for it i usually also pick up my outfits ahead of time and so that definitely helps because i'm excited to wear a cute outfit and i guess making this its own tip please invest in some workout clothes the cuter the clothes the heavier you can lift okay it is girl math it is girl science or whatever but it definitely works when you feel cute and you look good you literally feel better and you're more motivated you go to the gym you're walking around you're like a bad bitch and whatever and those are always the best freaking workouts for me versus if i wear something that's not necessarily as flattering something that i don't feel super confident wearing or something that's just like not really sitting right on my body when i'm working out i just like feel kind of like i don't know like i'm just like hyper aware of how i look and how i'm being perceived and i'm just like oh my god everybody's staring at me and that sort of thing so it has definitely helped to have some cute outfits did a whole video where i ordered a bunch of gym clothes if you guys want to check that out make sure to go find it on my channel if you want some inspiration for gym clothes to buy and i also have a couple of workout sets that are more affordable on my amazon wish list i think that should be linked down below so make sure to check that out i hope you enjoyed this video if you're on your fitness journey make sure to subscribe down below because that way we'll keep each other motivated it was a lot of health and fitness content so make sure to check out my other videos because i'm sure there's one that you will enjoy once again let me know if you're interested in me filming a what i need in a day video because i would love to film that for you guys and also if you would like me to do a beginner friendly workout guide i can definitely film that for you guys as well because i know when i was first starting out on my fitness journey those videos helped me out a ton so i can definitely film that for you guys just let me know below also make sure to follow me on instagram and that's it for today i love you guys see you next time bye